I'm vlogging and I wanted to show you. Oh, God, my rag. It's everywhere. So I wanted to show y'all the color that I had got. It's from Dark and Lovely. And this is the Eco Results when my hair is dry. And I'm trying to figure out what style I want to do for work. But this is just like what I got in it right now. I put some of the, I think, even like hairspray. It's like a leave-in conditioner. But yeah. These are my curls. I did dye it. The front of it is like some extra color. But I feel like it gave it like a pop. Thank God it didn't do the whole. Because my hair was already pre-dyed. I didn't want the black in there. So I had to take the black out. And I decided to go with this um, honey blonde. I did honey blonde. So I ended up turning it like this. I don't know, copper color, but it's really pretty. And these are my curls after I used it. I cooled and used the um, wet line gel. All right, so I wanted to do this natural hair tag while I'm vlogging, and I wanted to do this. I wanted to give girls five tips on how to rock your natural hair with confidence. Like, just be confident. All right, so I guess I'll just vlog like this. Okay, so let's start with the confidence. I wrote it down because it's so much stuff. All right, so number one, first of all, this is how to be confident rocking your natural hair. This is for all my girls out here that, you know, you might have some bomb hair and you're afraid to wear it out or you're afraid of what people going to say or you just don't know how your curls will pop. You know, it's just all types of things that people be thinking of and you just got to learn to be confident. So I got some tips for you guys. So the first tip is to wear it out actually wear it out practice makes perfect put yourself out there like before i was just like oh no if i should put my hair out there it's not as long as the other girl's hair is it's just not you know up to my standards up to my level and that's how i was thinking back in the day but when all these little natural girls started coming out with their curls popping all over the face it just gives you so much confidence like yes all this melanin all these girls out here they so confident so, the first step is to put yourself out there, rock those curls, girl, and just, you know, just go with the flow. Just, like, blend in. Don't even worry about nothing else. Just put yourself out there. Beauty is you. Beauty is about you. Your hair is you. No matter what hair you got, no matter what style, no matter what texture, your hair is you. So, just put yourself out there. Number two is learn what style works for you, like, my hair now like when i'm wearing it out curly sometimes i wear it in like a sleek bun going back with it cooled at the end or if i'm wearing it like this whatever is longer the longer side i'll have out whatever's the shorter side i'll pull back so you have to learn on what style that what style best fits you i'm letting it dry now so i'm just going to figure out what style fits me so as i go with y'all give me all tips it's just me giving myself tips too so learn what style works for you learn to love yourself you have to be confident with yourself you have to be confident inside of you you have to love yourself in order to go out into the world and be like block out all these haters and block out all these people that talk junk and block out anybody and go out there and slay okay honey slay now oh yeah <clears throat> everybody is different what your hair is is not going to be what your hair is is not going to be what the other girl hair is like what your hair is is not going to be like everybody else you have to learn how to be confident with your own hair you have to learn what style works for you you have to be confident in you like all right i'm gonna go out here i'm gonna rock my hair this style because that's just what i'm confident in so the next one is think about your aesthetics your skin your body like how you will wear your hair or what type what type of style you like to go for who are you like who are you like okay if you're a girly girl you might want to throw some hoops on you might want to throw some like some jingly earrings like you have to find out what matches your hair texture what matches your style you have to figure out yourself first before you can actually go out there and rock and natural hair don't be boxed in don't be like these other chicks out here don't be like these other females if you put yourself in that box it's going to be a disaster you have to learn how to work with you um men love natural hair i'm gonna let y'all know that are you girly are you sporty choose what fits you i am girly i'm i'm talking to myself too i am girly so when i'm wearing my natural hair i like to wear it like sleek back so i put do my edges to fit my style i'll throw on some hoops i'll throw on like a fancy shirt with like a vest or i'll just throw on like stuff that fits me because i already know my style so when i do my hair i don't have to worry about that because i already know i could throw some hoops and throw my makeup on and i'm already popping you know what i'm saying 
Number four, fill your package. What clothes, what earrings fit your style? Rock them. Sophistication is key. Number five, the last but not least before I do the tag is don't focus on don't focus on your energy. You your inner self is what matters the most. Now go out there and shine. Those are my five tips, guys. I hope you learn from them. All right, so let's get into this natural hair tag. Um, number one, why did you start your journey? I don't know. I just, once I fell in love with my curls and I fell in love with the type of hair texture I had, I was just like, okay, like, this is my hair. It's popping. I'm going to go out here and rock my hair. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just got confident wearing my own hair. I just got confident. I got on the wave. Is Natural hair is popping. Everybody want our hair texture. So, you know, number two is how long? About like almost two, three years because the last perm I had was like two Aprils ago. So, yeah, I've been on this natural journey. I've been I've been watching some YouTube videos. I've been following what's best for my hair, what's not. Okay, um, the limp check. I don't know when it's not slammed up. My hair is about like to my neck, but you know, psh, when I say. My hair grew so good. It just, I hate when I do my kinky curl curls because it scrunches up my hair and it just like, yeah. But it's about to my shoulders when I get it flat iron and stuff. We'll go to the Dominicans. Yep. Um, what kind of hair texture is super curly? Like, you see these guys? It's super curly. Like, super curly. My hair is so curly. It don't make no sense. Like, it's just kinky curly. Um, what's one product? Wet line gel because wet line is going to have my curls popping all day. I don't have to worry about re-putting oil on it or re-putting any water or re-putting nothing. Like my curls are just going to stay there all day. Like they're just going to pop. And they're just all over the place right now. So, yeah. We got to fix this after this video. Um, worst product. Oh God, the Dollar Store Spritz. The Dollar Tree Spritz. Oh Never again would I use the Dollar Tree spritz. That was a high ass mess. Okay, I would never put that. I'm not putting no spritz in my hair. I'm not putting no spritz in my hair. Can't do it. Won't do it. That's a hot mess. Um, or am I a product junkie? No. Only for like gels that fit my curls. Um, edge control. Like I really am like on my edge control. This is gel on my edges right now. But um, as far as like product that I always buy is the probably the 24 hour even edge control that's the only one that I buy because when I do my ponytails and stuff it like fits it really really lasts all day um how often do you trim your hair every seven weeks because I have to make sure there's no damage in my curls like I really have to make sure I'm cutting my ends every seven weeks every four to seven weeks because I just like to make sure my hair is all around even in order for it to grow so every seven weeks guys yeah oh man do I use heat? A blow dryer every once in a while, but I just bought a new blow dryer. I don't I don't put heat on my hair unless I need it bone straight for like a ponytail. Other than that, I'm not using no heat on my hair. I don't flat iron my hair. I do not do any of that. I just, I don't put heat on my hair. Um, did you dye your hair? Yes, I'm always dyeing my hair. It is a shame. Like, I just hate when I dye my hair and bl my black roots start to show. Like, I just hate when my black roots start to show and it's just a hot mess. So I always got to get that black out. It's a bad habit, but I don't dye my hair all the time. And the dye that I use is the Dark and Lovely. I think that's the next one. The dye that I use is Dark and Lovely because it doesn't mess with my hair texture. It doesn't mess with my curls. It always brings my curls back no matter what it is. It just gives me like a really cute popping color and I love it. So, yeah, I use Dark and Lovely. Um, how long does washing my hair take? Um... 20 minutes because I'll um I'll co-wash shit, then I'll put conditioner in it. I do not use shampoo. Unless it's a shampoo out here, like a like a black girl line for my hair. I can't do it because all the other ones that I've been using been a hot mess. So no guys, I do not use anti shampoo on my hair. It has alcohol in it. It is very drying. And next but not least, I do not use a towel to dry my hair. I use like a um like a old silky shirt or a silky scarf that I always um had. Oh god, I got lipstick on it. Lip gloss. But I use like an old t shirt or whatever. Um and then you know I have to keep a clean bonnet. I just wash my bonnet. It's so fresh and clean because this is gonna make my curls bounce back. Um yes, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little nine almost ten minute vlog. It was just basically how to be confident rocking your natural curly hair. I'm just getting out in this journey for about like 
I don't know. I've just been feeling so much better when I'm rocking my natural hair because now I'm so confident. I don't care what anybody say. I've always been different. So it doesn't really matter to me. And everybody always giving me compliments. So, I mean, it depends on how, you st how your style is, what fits you, what works for you. And just go out there and slay. I don't care what nobody say. I just go out there and slay, okay? So, make sure you subscribe to my channel because we're going to have some popping vlogs all month, all the way up to Christmas, okay? Um, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.